All right, time for our second example on how to convert from degrees into radians. Okay, so we're just going to make this flow very similar to our last one. So let's get going, you guys. All right, so I'm going to start with 75 degrees. What do I multiply to degrees to convert that bad boy into radians? <gasps> I do multiply it by pi radians over 180 degrees. Okay, and that will cause my degrees to cancel out. So watch yourself. Okay, and since we're dealing with fractions, I'm going to put 75 over 1 so it's easier to multiply. And remember, with fractions, you go straight across. Okay, so I'm just going to multiply across, which remember, our degrees cancel out. So I'm going to cancel those bad boys out. Bam, bam. All right, so 75 times pi will give me 75 pi over 1 times 180, which is 180 radians. Yay, so my degrees cancel out, so I'm currently in radians, but I need to simplify this fraction down. So I need to think about a number that divides into 75 and 180. Hmm. Well, I know that 5 goes into both, so I'm going to start by dividing both of these bad boys by 5. So 5 goes into 75, let's see here, 1, 15, oh, no, 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 hold on, 1, 5 goes into 75, 1, 13 times, I'm pretty sure, 1, no, 15, I was right, okay, oh, Mr. Long disapproves. I made a mental error. Well, I originally calculated right, but I doubted myself. Don't ever doubt yourself. That's bad. All right, so 15 times 5 uh, will give me 75. So we have 15 pi radians, and then 180 divided by pi, or 5, good golly. 180 divided by 5 will give me, let's see here, 336. What do you think, Mr. Long? Is it 36? 180 divided by 5? Uh, See, Mr. Long doesn't even know. He judged me and he doesn't even know. I'll double check. So 180 divided by 5. So 5 into 18 goes 3 times. Remember 3. Yeah, it's 36. Okay, which actually I can divide both of those by an even larger number. So I can divide both of these by 3. So I guess 15 evenly went to both from the start. But that's okay. We can keep reducing down. So I'm going to divide both of these by 3 again. So 15 pi divided by 3 will be 5 pi over 36 divided by 3 will be 12. So it's 5 pi over 12 radians. There we go. Nice, you guys. Nice. Okay, in our next example, so we're going to be reversing the process. We'll start with radians and convert these bad boys to degrees. So get excited about that.